The Principles of Responsible Management Education, or PRIME for short, is a UN initiative that was launched in 2007 at the Global Compact Leaders Summit. Its aim is to encourage all business schools to engage with and support values-based business education based on the principles of the UN Global Compact. As part of SBS's aim to become AACSB accredited, we signed up to PRIME in 2013, and since then we've been embedding corporate responsibility and ethics in all our operations. The Green Gown Awards are now firmly established as a leading quality mark of sustainability in higher education and Sheffield Business School is really proud to be part of that. The whole strategy of Sheffield Hallam University is to drive sustainability in everything that we do and Sheffield Business School's incorporation of the United Nations Principles for Responsible Management Education is part of our response to that. What the Business School is doing is helping students understand the ethical consequences of business practice and the sustainability of the business entities that they will enter. Um, what we're also doing is ensuring that our research is rich in relation to sustainability and ethical considerations. So we're contributing to ethical debate and dialogue right across the university sector. This whole project is about a partnership between Sheffield Business School and the Facilities Director at Sheffield Hallam University. So we are looking at ways we can en enhance the curriculum by embedding ethics and sustainability into that curriculum while also thinking about how we deliver education to our students and the way that we deliver it. PRIME supports the university's overarching sustainability priority and commitment to continuously improve and SBS is demonstrating this ethos by adopting a whole school approach to PRIME. We included PRIME principles in our faculty-wide mission and ran an all-staff conference to inform staff about PRIME. In April 2016, we ran a conference on engaging in responsible and ethical management. At the conference, we invited keynote speakers like Professor Carol Parks from Winchester, who is the lead in the chapter for PRIME in the UK and Ireland. Also, Mike Bull from Manchester Metropolitan, who's a leading academic on sustainable enterprise. I'm the uh, current chair of uh, Prime for the UK and Ireland of the chapter. So what I want to do this morning is talk about Prime. Um, I've been involved with it since it very first started in 2007. At the conference, we also launched the second edition of this book, particularly a companion website that contains teaching materials for Prime. And we've also received an endorsement for this text from Jonas Hartle, who's the head of Prime at the United Nations. We also set up a prime working group that includes members from across the faculty. Hi, I'm Michelle Davey. I work for the uh, subject group Strategy, Change and Entrepreneurship and I specialise in ethics particularly. And we embed responsible business practices into our curriculum through teaching students how to understand and manage um, business responsibly in areas such as environment, uh, ethics, sustainability, corruption and so on. Hi, I'm Christine Gilligan and I'm a member of the Strategy and Change Management subject group. Together with Michelle Davey, we wrote the modules that the faculty is now running out across the business school to develop responsible and ethical business practice. So my name is Rory. I teach as part of the Organisation, Behaviour and Human Resource Management subject group. Uh, and my job title is that I'm a reader in cooperative and social enterprise. So I've been doing about a decade of action research that informs our prime strategy and we're now embedding uh, learning materials that are based on that action research in various modules that I teach. So I teach organisation ethics and CSR. I'm leading the development of a new MBA in cooperative leadership and social entrepreneurship and also we even get these materials into our research philosophy and research methods teachings. Hi, I'm Jeanette Hurst, a lecturer in the Department of Management. I lead on undergraduate modules on leadership and in the curriculum we include CSR, sustainability leadership and also collective forms of leadership. And so in there we are embedding prime principles. I'm also module leader for a postgraduate module called Organisational Ethics and CSR, which of course includes ethics, CSR and sustainability as a dedicated module. My name is Christine O'Leary and as a member of the Prime Group I'm responsible for embedding Prime within the curriculum in, across the whole faculty. Uh, I also teach uh, ethics 
on various research methods module including the masters in research and I teach sustainability and some ethical issues as well on a module called contemporary and professional studies in French. If we are aiming to be an environmentally and socially responsible organisation it's important we teach our students the same ethics and value to take out into the world. PRIME has six principles. At SBS, we focused initially on principles one to three to create the educational framework that developed the capacity for students to be future generators of sustainable value for business and society. Principle one is, we will develop the capabilities of students to be future generators of sustainable value for business and society at large and to work for an inclusive and sustainable global economy. Principle two, we will incorporate into our academic activities and curricula the values of global social responsibility as portrayed in international initiatives such as the United Nations Global Compact. Principle three, we will create educational frameworks, materials, processes and environments that enable effective learning experience for responsible leadership. All module leaders included a statement in their module guides about the importance of responsible business practices. We introduced a new module at level five called Responsible and Ethical Business Practice. This is what one of our students thought about it. Uh, I think the biggest thing for me was the impact that it had on my thinking um, in terms of like how I see everything now is different because we're doing this module because it highlighted to me the importance of being responsible and businesses being responsible and kind of like the role that nature has in society and how it's like a silent stakeholder whereas it's not thought of in business as important and it should be because without the role of nature you could potentially not have businesses at all in 10 years time if all the resources are completely gone and depleted and there's just nothing left. I think the biggest thing for me um, that interests me the most was uh, the concept of corporate social responsibility, um, how businesses can use it as a tool for promoting their business and the good that they do but also as a reactionary policy to potential uh, public pressure. We're the future of business in 10 years time we could be in organisations making huge impacts through like the work, the stu studying we've done now. I think that some people don't see the need to do it now because it's not an essential part of a business strategy to be sustainable but sustainability is all about long term. This year we're continuing to develop our teaching in this area and have several new modules running across the business school. So at the end of 2015 we delivered our first prime report to the United Nations and this year we've been action planning so that we can embed prime principles across the faculty in 2017. We've been doing further work on assurance of learning and also the creation of a responsible and ethical organisation studies group.